Hello. Hello. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Fine. And you? Very well. Ready here for rock and roll. Excellent. Good, good. How was your weekend? Fine. Nice. Good. At good. home. That's good. Sometimes we need just to relax and that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Vamos a esperar un par de minutos. A ver si vienen okay, los demás teacher. compañeros ya la última semana de clase. <laughs> Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How good evening. Are... How is everything going? Ok, vamos a iniciar entonces la clase, quizá pues consultar cómo vamos con la plataforma, ahora tendríamos que ir finalizando ya, ya nos quedan pocos días. Eh, miércoles vamos a estar revisando el final test, así rapidito para ver si sí, pues hay preguntas, dudas, eh, pero no sé cómo van, preguntas por ahorita, ah, comentarios, alguna situación rara. O si ya terminaron, ¿cómo vamos con la plataforma? ¿Hasta qué día tenemos para finalizar? Sería hasta el jueves a la medianoche. Sin embargo, por okay. cualquier situación, problema que pueda tener, yo recomendaría que miércoles pudiéramos terminar para revisar el test y pues cualquier cuestión pues solventarla. Ok. Good. ¿Lo demás cómo vamos? ¿Did you finish already? Ya finalizado. Good. En el examen, en el examen de la unidad 5. Ah, ok, perfecto. Entonces sí, ya casi. Nice. Ajá. Bueno, sí, ya estamos trabajando para ver si se inicia de una vez el siguiente lunes, el siguiente nivel. Entonces esperemos, pues, que todos estén allá, ¿verdad? Eh, bueno. Anyways, we're going to start. We were checking last time about present perfect and some other things. 
Eh, no recuerdo si hicimos este ejercicio. Les voy a mostrar y ustedes me dicen. Sí, no, blanco, negro. Have we done this already? ¿Será que lo hicimos? No lo hicimos. ¿Se acuerda alguno? Creo, creo que no. Ok, entonces perfecto, aquí es donde vamos. We are going to do this little exercise. It's very, very easy. This is like a review that we are going to check about. Uh, present perfect sometimes happens that we get confused about a simple past and present perfect. That's why we're going to do this exercise. And uh, well, it's going to be very easy. Number one, or the first one, it says my mom, Entonces aquí tenemos has had, or had. So the first question is, has had, is that simple past or present perfect? Bless you, bless you. Okay, the first one is simple past or present perfect, has had. Had? Uh, simple past. Okay, la primera, has had is simple past, entonces. Yeah. Okay. Had. Okay, so, but you're saying about the answer. My mom had. Right? Yes. Okay, very good. Why do you believe this is simple past and not present perfect? Uh, por el verbo a continuación. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, por has. Oh, well, okay. We're going to take this one, okay? Had. My mom had a, a cold last winter. I will help you on this one, on the first one only. It is had. The correct answer is had. But that is because we are explaining here last winter. That means that the situation finished already. Okay? When the situation has finished already, we're going to use simple past. So this one is simple past. Okay, the next one it says I uh -huh, didn't do or haven't done. Haven't done. Haven't done. Okay, haven't done my homework yet. Okay. The next one says they bought or have bought. Have bought. Both. 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 Mm. A ver, it's bought or have bought. What do you think? Both. Bow. You say bow. bow. And the other ones? Bow. 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 Okay, the final answer, everybody was saying <laughs> bow. So we're going to take that example. Then we have I got married or have got married. I've got. I've got. I've got. Okay, let's take that one and let's see how it goes. Then we have we have gone or went to China in 2010. Went. 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 Okay. The next one it says we. Didn't go or haven't gone. Faltó la anterior teacher. Oh, yeah, go. you are right. Let's do the other one. I'm sorry. So the uh, mm -hmm. that one is that Sam has read or read? Read. Read. Everybody mm -hmm. agrees? Read. Present perfect. Read. Read. Okay, let's take red. Now we go to the next one that is, uh, we didn't go or haven't gone to school. Haven't gone. Haven't gone. Everybody agrees? 
Yes? No? Maybe. Didn't go. Didn't okay. go. Didn't go. Okay. So everybody says didn't go, I just one haven't gone. Uh, everybody agrees on didn't go? Didn't go. Agree. Okay. And the next one says I have lost or lost my watch two days ago. What's going to be that? Have lost. Have, have lost. lost. Have lost. Okay, the majority say have lost. Then we says uh, we well, we check that says never played. We never played or we have never played rugby until now. Rugby is very good. I like rugby. Have never played. Have never played. Okay, have never played. And the last one says, have you ever been or were you ever? Have you ever? Were you ever? Have you ever been? Mm, we have different. Have you ever been or were you ever? What do you think? Have you ever been? Have you ever been? Everybody agrees on this one? Yeah, have you ever yeah. been? Have you ever been? Okay. Ahora viene el momento de la verdad. Let's see how it goes. 60. 60. O sea que tuvimos cuatro malas. ¿Cuáles tuvimos malas? They. This one is have bought bought okay this one is have bought they have bought a house here that is exactly like in spanish you know <laughs> i'm sorry uh, ellos han comprado una casa este año something like that the other one is um i this is past because it says a few months ago i got married okay this is similar to this year Sam has read two books this week. And the other one, I lost. Okay, because it was just lost. I mean, I'm not, I'm not looking for that one anymore. Okay, so what we need to do is to be careful about some situation that might be confused. I know that this is the very first time that we get these these uh, two sentences i mean these two tenses together but we need to be careful okay do you have any question about this exercise le mandé varios ejercicios no sé si algunos lo hicieron no lo hicieron cómo salieron qué les pareció los ejercicios no sé alguien los hizo yo estuve intentando en algunos de los enlaces teacher Y sí, quizás un 80 en algunos. Good. That is good. I mean, 80 is nice. Because um, we need to practice, right? And that's why we need to do some exercises. Very good, my friends. Now we are going to continue with the presentation. Uh, let's see. Okay, so we are going to continue with the reading. So we can continue checking some vocabulary and still using the um, grammar. Uh, let me just. Okay, so this is a little reading that I brought to you. It's kind of easy. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to repeat. Okay, so please, everybody, let's repeat. Then let me check if I can. Mm, we need to move this. Okay, everything. Uh, it says, Dear Thanasis. Dear Thanasis. I am having a great time here with my brother in the West of England. I'm having, having a great time with my brother in the West of England. In the West of England. 
I think it is the most interesting place. I think I it is the most it is interesting, the most interesting place. place I have ever visited. I have ever visited. Have ever visited. As you know, as you, you know, know, Stefanos is at university here. Stefanos, Stefanos is at is university, at university here. here. So I am staying with him. I so I am staying with him. I am staying with him. He has been here for three years. He has been, he has been here been for three years. Three years. And he says the town is not the same. In his place. And he he uh, says the town is not the same since he first arrived here. And things have changed. And things have changed. He says that when he first came here, he, he says that when he went there, he came here. Come here. It was difficult to. It, it was, was difficult, difficult to, to get around. Get, get around. around. Get around. But over the years. But over the years. Over the years that has changed. That has that changed. Has changed. <laughs> and now they have started. And now they have started new bus roads. New bus roads. Road. As for as, as for, for, for my new so far. My new so far. New so far. I have been to the local museum. I have been to the local museum. And have learned a lot of things about natural. And have learned and a lot learned of things about, about natural. natural. About natural. History and wild animals. History, History and, wild, and animals. wild animals. The paintings in the different rooms were wonderful too. The paintings, the paintings in the different rooms were wonderful, wonderful too. too. And it didn't. And it didn't. And it it didn't cause anything either. Cause anything, anything either. either. Anything. After walking around all the galleries. After walking, after around, walking around, around all the galleries. All the galleries I had a soft drink and a snack. I had a soft drink and a snack. Had a soft drink and a snack. That was, that was, was good, too. good too. I haven't bought any souvenirs yet. I haven't bought any souvenirs yet. But perhaps I will get some tomorrow. But perhaps I will get some tomorrow. I will get some tomorrow. Anyway. 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 That's about all for now. That's, That's about all for now. That's about, That's about now. All the best, per. All the best, the best. Per. Okay. So the first thing that we're gonna do is to check some vocabulary. Of course, you know what is dear, right? What is dear? Estimado. Querido. Something like that, right? And it says, I am having a great time. That is present continuous, as you can see. I am having a great time here with my brother in the west of England. What is west? Oeste. Good. And it says, I think it is the most interesting place. Remember, the most is like a superlative, right, for interesting. I have ever visited. So that is present perfect. As you know, Stefanos is at university here, and so I am staying with him. What is so? What do you think? So. Entonces. En este caso es entonces, okay? Just remember that 
in English, I mean, we just adapt things into Spanish because, for example, I don't know if you have heard um, somebody that says, um, I am a student, and another person says, so am I. Have you ever heard that? So am I. That is like in, uh, when you say in Spanish, yo también, but you don't use the word to. You use so. So that happens a lot, okay? Then it says he has been here for three years, and he says the town. What is the town? Pueblo. Very good. The town is a small city. It's not the same since he. Uh, do you? Well, you know what it seems because we checked that right. Uh, the same. What is to be the same? La misma. Lo mismo. Very good. Uh, first arrived here and things have changed. Um, he says that when he first came here. So as you can see here, we are mixing simple past, present perfect, and maybe some other tenses that are necessary for the idea. It was difficult to uh, get around. What is to get around? Como regresar. Mm, that might be turn around. Mm, okay. Anybody knows what is get around? Getting around. I'm sorry? Ah. Alrededor, no. Solo around es alrededor. Pero si yo le pongo el get a la par, get around. Get around es como ir a dar la vuelta. Getting around. So, me mind that I call you and you say, hey, what are you doing? Oh, I'm getting around. Ah, dando la vuelta. So, uh, but over the years, you know what is over, right? Here in this case, it says over the years. So, as the years are passing by, right? As the years finishes and gone on has changed and now they have started new bus roads. You know what is that? As for my new so far. What is so far? Muy lejos. Muy lejos. Mm, that is interesting. Actually, en esta si lo tradujera, tradujéramos literalmente sería algo así como muy lejos. Sin embargo, viene a significar hasta ahora. Uh, there is an expression in English that we say, so far so good. Hasta ahora todo bien. Okay. So, that is so far. I have been to a local museum and have learned a lot of things about natural history and wild animals. The paintings in the different rooms were wonderful too. Uh, this is simple past and remember that if it's plural, it's going to be where, well, right? And then, and it didn't cause anything either. After walking around, here around is like walking around, that is different, right? All the galleries. Um, I had a soft drink. Do you know what is a soft drink? What is a soft drink? Como algo suave, una bebida suave. Bebidas fría. Significa literalmente una bebida suave. Sin embargo, así le dicen a las sodas allá en Inglaterra. The soft drink. When you go, I mean, there are many countries that they speak English. If you go to Canada, if you go to Australia, if you go to Ireland, uh, they are going to speak in different ways. So, if uh, uh, by any chance you are going to travel, my best advice for you is to study about the country, right? For example, do you, do you know that, I guess it's in Korea. In Korea, you can touch uh, the head of kids. If you touch the head of a kid, everybody's going to be like, oh my goodness. What do you do? And they speak like that. So, why teacher? Because they believe that uh, they're in that country, they believe that the soul is in the head and that oh, okay. the kids are very pure. So you can touch um, the head of the kids. It's not properly. So it's interesting, right? Every country has different different things. Yeah. 
we need to research about that one because we don't want to get in trouble. And what else? Let me see. Wonderful, and it didn't. Let's see. After walking, to play. a snack. What is a snack? Boquitas. Una poquita, un bocadillo, algo chiquito. Then he says, that was good too. I haven't bought any souvenirs. You know what is a souvenir, right? Como recuerdo. That is it. When you go to a place and you say, I want to remember this, you bring some souvenirs or you get some souvenirs to your friends. Perhaps, what is perhaps? Quizás, tal vez. Very good. Anyway, what is anyway? De todos modos. Como sea. Anyway, you can use anyways as well. That's about all for now. And then there is the. Y ahí está la despedida. Okay, homework for tomorrow. Everybody, please, you are going to try to write a little paragraph. Todos tratemos de escribir un párrafo y tratemos de utilizar al menos los tiempos del pasado simple y el presente perfecto. Ok. De lo que ustedes quieran. Esta idea es bien sencilla porque es como una carta, una postal, algo que ustedes le están contando a alguien más. So, that is very easy. But you can write whatever you want. Ok. Anything goes. And try, try to use the simple past and the present perfect. Okay, so let me see. Si lo hago así, lo alcanzan a ver, alcanzan a leer. Yes. Yes. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to practice the reading. Remember that when we read, we are telling a story. Okay. I know that sometimes when we are learning, do you remember when you are learning Spanish, when you were like in kindergarten, and you were learning and you were reading like, mi papá, mi hijo, tel, tel, tel. So that is, it's normal. I mean, that is normal because we are learning. Okay, that, that is not a problem. But we can try to read in the way that we are telling a story. So for example, in this case, you can say, I am having a great time here with my brother in the west of England. I think it is the most interesting place I have ever visited. As you know, Stefanos is at university here, and so I am staying with him. He has been here for three years, and he says the town is not the same since he first arrived here, and things have changed. He says that when he first came here, it was difficult to get around. But over the years, that has changed, and now they have started new bus routes. As for my news so far, I have been to the local museum and have learned a lot of things about natural history and wild animals. The paintings in the different rooms were wonderful too, and it didn't cost anything either. After walking around all the galleries, I had a soft drink and a snack. That was good too. I haven't bought any souvenirs yet, but perhaps I will get some tomorrow. Anyway, that's about all for now. So as you can see, intonation when you're reading is important. Also punctuation, commas, and periods, so you can stop a little bit. Okay? Remember that you are telling a story. Anything that you read is a story about any kind of situation. So, we're going to practice reading. Um, let's see, who wants to be the first one? Let's see, if there is a volunteer. Me, teacher. Okay, Francisco, you are gonna be the first one. Please go ahead. I am having a great time here with my brothers in the west of England. I think it is the most interesting place I have ever visited. As you know, Stefanos is at, is at university here, and so I am staying with him. He 
he has been here for three years and he says the the town is not the same since he first arrived here and things have changed. He says that when he first came here, it was difficult to get around, but over the years that has changed and now they have started new bus routes. As for my news so far, I, I have been to the local museum and have learned a lot of things about natural history and wild animals. The paintings in the different rooms were wonderful too, and it didn't cost anything either. After walking around all the galleries, I have a soft drink and a snack. That was good too. I haven't bought any souvenirs yet, but perhaps I will get some tomorrow. Anyway, that's about all for now. Very, very good. I really liked it. Just a few things in pronunciation, but it was almost perfect. Nice. Thank you. So, um, Francisco, since you were the volunteer, you are going to choose who's next. Quien va ahora, Francisco? Okay. Brenda Cruz. Good. You are the lucky one, Brenda. Okay. I am having a great time here with my brother in the west of England. I think it is the most interesting place I have ever visited. As you know, Estefanos is at university here, and so I am staying with him. He has been here for three years and he says the town is not the same since he first arri arrived here and things have changed. He said that when he first came here, it was difficult to get around, but over the years that has changed. And now they have a start new bus roads. As for my news so far, I have been to the local museum and have learned a lot of things about natural history and wild animals. The paintings in the different rooms were wonderful too, and it didn't cost anything either. After walking around all the galleries, I had a soft drink and snacks. Uh, that was a good too. I haven't bought any souvenirs yet, but Per, perhaps I will get some tomorrow. Anyway, that's about all for now. Very good. Very, very nice. I really liked it. Almost perfect that one as well. Nice. Brenda, who's next? Jenny Escobar. Okay, Jenny, you are the next. Okay. Mm. I am having a great time here with my brother in the west of England. I think it's the most interesting place I have ever visited. As you know, Stefanos, it is a university here on so I am staying with him. He has been here for three years and he says the town is not the same science he first arrived here and things have changed. He says that when he first came here, it was difficult to get around, but over the years that has changed and now they have started new bus roads. As for my new so far, I have been to the local museum and have learned a lot of things about natural history and wild animals. The paintings in the different rooms were wonderful too, and it didn't cut anything out. After walking around all the galleries, I had a soft drink and a snack that was good too. I haven't bought any souvenirs yet, but Fairfax, I will get some tomorrow. 
Anyway, that's about all for now. <laughs> very good, very good, Jenny. That was a very nice job. Just a few things in pronunciation, but it was very nice. Uh, <laughs> Who's going to be the next, uh, Jenny? Uh, next, Marcela. Marcela. Okay. Okay. I am having a great time here with my brother and the West of England. I think it is the most interesting place I have ever visited. As you know, Stefano is at university here and so I am staying with him. He has been here for three years and he says the town is not the same since he first arrived here and things have changed. He says that when he first came here, it was difficult to get around, but over the years that has changed and now they have started new bus brothers. As, as for my news so far, I have been to the local museum and have learned a lot of things about natural history and wild animals. The painting is a different room where wonderful too, and it didn't cost anything either. After walking around all the galleries, I have soft a snack. That was good too. I haven't bought any, any souvenirs yet, but perhaps, I will get some tomorrow. Anyway, that's good about all for now. Very good, very good. I really liked it, Marcela. Nice. So, uh, who's next? Um, Brian. Brian. Okay, Brian, you're next. I am having a great time here with my brother in the west of England. I think it is the most interesting place I have ever visited. As you know, Stefanos is a university here, and so I am staying with him. He has been here for three years, and he said the town is not the same since the, he first arrived here, and things have changed. He said that when he first came here, it was difficult to get around, but but over the years that has changed and now they have started new bus routes. As for my news, so far I have been to the local museum and I and have learned a lot of things about natural history and wild animals. The paintings in the different rooms were wonderful too and it didn't cause anything either. After walking around all the galleries, I had a soft, soft drink and a snack. That was good too. I have bought um, any souvenirs yet, but perhaps I will get some tomorrow anyway. That's about uh, all for you. Okay, very well, thank you. Thank you, Brian. Now you are going to choose who's next. Beatriz. Beatriz, okay. I am having a great time here with my brother in the west of England. I think it is the most interesting place I have ever visited. As you know, Stefan is in the university here, and so I am staying, staying with him. He has been here for the years, and he says the tone is not the same thing. He first arrived here, and things have changed. He said that when he first came here, I was difficult to get around, around, but over the years, that has changed. And now they have started new bus routes. As for my news so far, I have been to the local museum and have 
learned a lot of things about natural history and wild animals. The paintings in the different rooms were wonderful too. I and I didn't cause anything else. After walking around all the galleries, I had I had a soft dream um a snap that was good too. I haven't I haven't bought army souvenirs yet. But perhaps I will get some tomorrow. Anyway, that about our four notes. Four okay. notes. Perfect. Thank you very much. Nice, Brenda. I I'm sorry, Beatriz. So please uh, tell me who's going to be the next. Um, Brenda Sandoval. Good, Brenda Sandoval. Okay. I am Harry and Green Tai. She with my brother in the west of England. And drink it is most interesting place I have ever visited. As you can, Stefan is a university. Her and so I am starting with him. He, go, he has been her for this chair. And he say the throne is not the same thing he. Fish arrive her and trees have a chain. He say that when he first came here, it was difficult to her arrow a row uh, over this the year, the has changed and now the have este day never will row. As for uh, my never so war, I have been to the local music and have legs of lot of things about natural history the wild animal. The party in the difficult road were wonderful to in the coast and till as the wall around I the gallery and I started drink a stand that was good too. I have bow a sorry just bow uh very fun I, I will have some tomorrow always that's about I for now Okay, thank you, Brenda. So, uh, who is going to be the next? Uh, per permítame que no veo a los otros compañeros. Okay. Eh, ay, se me salió. Se están escondiendo, no quieren leer. Sí, es que le puse pata de grande. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. Eh, Gerardo. Okay. Gerard Depardieu. I am having a great time here with my brother in the west of England. I think it is the most interesting place I have ever visited. As you know, Stefano is at university here, and so I am studying with him. He has been here for three years and he says the town is now the same since he first arrived here in, and since have changed. He says that when he first came here, it was difficult to get around, but over the years that has changed, and now they have started new new bus route as for my news so far i have been the local mus museum and have learned 
a lot of things about natural history and wild animals. The paintings in the different rooms were wonderful too, and it didn't cause anything either. After walking around all the galleries, I have a soft dream and a snack that was good, good too. I haven't bought any souvenirs yet, but perhaps I will get some tomorrow anywhere. Anyway, that's about all for now. Very well, thank you, Geraldo. So now, uh, who is going to be the next one? Jonathan. Jonathan, good. Um, I am having a great time here with my brother in the west of England. I think it is the most interesting place I have ever visited. As you know, Stefano is at university here. And so I am staying with him. He has been here for three years and he said the town is not the same since he first arrived here and things have changed he said that when the, he first came here it was difficult to to get around but over the years that has changed and now they have started new bus routes uh, as for my news so far i have been to the lo local museum I have learned a lot of things about natural history and wild animals. The paintings, the paintings in the different rooms were wonderful too. And I and it didn't cause anything either. After walking around all the galleries, I have a soft drink and a snack. That was good too good too. I haven't bought anything souvenirs yet but perhaps I will get some tomorrow. Anyway, that's about all for now. Very good, very good job, Jonathan. Uh, who's gonna be the next? Uh, it is. It is, good. Hello, it is. Are you with us? I guess she's not here right now. Okay. Um, Jacqueline, creo que no le ido, ¿verdad? I am having a great time here with my brother in the west of England. I think it's the most interesting place I had ever visited. As you know, Stefano is a university here, and so I am studying with him. He has been here for three years, and he said the tone is not the same since he first arrived here and this have changed. He said to when he first come here. I was difficult to hear around wood over the year. They have changed and now they have a starting the bus road. As for my new so far, I have been to the local museum and I learned a lot of things about natural history and with animals. The paintings in the different room were wonderful too. And I didn't cause anything here after walking around at the galleries. I had a soft drink and a snack that was good too. I haven't about any souvenir here. With Pierre has, I wish he's on tomorrow anyway. 
taste about offer now. Okay, very well. Thank you, Jacqueline. Uh, who's going to be the next? Lo que falta, no sé si falta alguien. Flor. Flor, yeah, you're right. I am having a great time here with my brother in the west of England. I think it is the most inter interesting place I have ever visited. As you know, Stephanos is at university here, and so I am staying with him. He has been here for three years, and he says the town is not the same since he first arrived here, and things have changed. He says that when he first came here, it was difficult to get around, but over the year that has changed, and now they have started new bus routes. As for my news, so far, I have been to the local museum and have learned a lot of things about natural history and with animals. The painting in the different rooms were wonderful too, and I didn't cause anything either. After walking around all the galleries, I have a soft drink and I am stuck. That was good too. I haven't bought any souvenirs yet, but perhaps I will get some tomorrow. Anyway, that's about all, all for now. Very good. Thank you very much. Um, I don't know if there is anybody missing. Faltará alguien todavía? Jacqueline, Jonathan, sí. Jenny, no sé si leyó ya Jenny, sí. Creo que sí, ¿verdad? Sí, teacher, yeah. Okay, very well. So, uh, in general, I believe that you are very good. I mean, the most of you, you have only few things in pronunciation. Um, I know that sometimes it's difficult, sometimes it's difficult to remember the pronunciation. I mean, when you are reading, um, maybe you don't know what you are reading, but you need to understand the words so you have the the correct pronunciation. And also remember that the idea is also very important, so because you are telling ideas on that one. Tomorrow, uh, you have a homework. You are going to write a paragraph using simple past and present perfect. And we are going to tell to the class that paragraph. So we can practice both writing and also the reading. If you have questions, si tienen preguntas, cuando están haciendo ahí el, el párrafo, pues lo pueden escribir. Está bien esto, está correcto esto. There are many ways that you can do it. Uh, but it's a good idea for us to practice both writing, reading, and pronunciation in this kind of exercises. Okay? Uh, preguntas con el deber para mañana? Questions, questions. Okay. If you don't have any questions, uh, let's remember that this is the last week of this module. Right. So, si aún no ha terminado la plataforma, si le faltan algunos ejercicios, yo sé que pues a muchos trabajan y es un poco complicado, pero ya esta semana es la última. Es muy, muy importante que vayan terminando todos los ejercicios. Y yo les recomendaría que para miércoles, miércoles en la clase de ese día vamos a revisar lo que queda, la unidad sería el, la section 5 y vamos a revisar también el final test, es decir, ver si hay algún problema, si todos lo pudieron hacer. Y, y nos quedaría un día como por si acaso ¿verdad? algo sucediera, algo me salió mal, yo pudiera pues el jueves terminar eso último, que está mal, uh, o que no lo he terminado. Eh, además, recuerden de, de ir a revisar al final de la plataforma el progreso, uh, para que pues revisen que todo vaya saliendo bien, que tengan el 80%, que es lo que se necesita. Eso es muy importante. Revisen su gráfico final para ver si hay, si está pues al 80% o más, pues everything is fine. Y que tenga también el midterm test y el final test. Y de ahí pues sería solo de esperar. Yo me imaginaría que eh, ya viernes o sábado más tarde estarían recibiendo los correos, las invitaciones para... El módulo, si es que se inicia el lunes, yo pensaría que si todos mandaron la documentación, porque de eso depende mucho, 
que han mandado la documentación a tiempo y que todo esté en orden y que terminen pues con el 80% o más este module pues allá estaremos ¿verdad? en el siguiente nivel ¿Hay alguna pregunta o duda con esto? ¿Do you have any question? Uh, uh -huh. Teacher, ¿cuál es la tarea para mañana? Como eh, me falló el internet, me escuché. Ah, ok. La tarea para mañana es eh, escribirse un párrafo. Algo parecido a lo que tenemos acá. Puede ser como una carta, como una postal, una historia, lo que usted quiera. Lo importante es que tenga quizás los dos tiempos. El pasado simple y el presente perfecto. Esos dos tiempos y pues... Si tiene preguntas, dudas de cómo escribirlo, puede hacerlo de cualquier tema, de un viaje, de una historia, de algo que usted leyó, anything that you may want, ¿ok? Del pasado simple y del presente, ¿cuál? Presente perfecto, que es el okay. que acabamos de ver, que lleva have, okay. has, uh -huh. y el verbo en pasado participio. Ok, thank you. You're welcome. Any other question? No question. Okay, my friends. So by now, this is it. Uh, see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Enjoy. And um, yeah, let's finish this uh, week in a very good way. Bye bye. Thank you. Good night. 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 Good night.